You're not allowed in here. I'm Alexis Davis. I know who you are, Miss Davis, but I have my orders. Then arrest me. It's all right. Let her throw. Let her throw. He was right about one thing, though. You shouldn't be here. I heard about one of the news. Is Sam one of the hostages? I'm sorry. I thought you'd been notified. Are you sure? Yes, yes. She is one of the hostages, as well as Sonny, Nicholas, Emily, Elizabeth, among others. All right. And the gunman. What does he want? Okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right, Rodriguez, relax. What, what is it? I made a deal with the ring. What kind of a deal? He's going to give me a chance to save Robin's life. Renzo, mm -hmm. you once said to me that if anything went wrong with this job, that a lot of people would be hurt. And you see, that's exactly what's happening right now. To people that I really care about. So you see, I don't know how to fix this without putting you in jeopardy, too. Sorry, I'm not more helpful. I want to be oh, you. Dr. Ford, how are you feeling, Mr. Um, Alcazar? Uh, he's, he's fairly disoriented. He recognizes me and pictures of our daughter, but there are gaps in his memory. Has Dr. Drake been paged? Mm -hmm. uh, he left. He left? Drake, Patrick Drake, performed the original brain surgery to remove the bullet from Lorenzo's brain, and, and he did too much Lorenzo, and then he started complaining of headaches. And the patient developed an intracranial bleed, which required an emergency surgery. Yes, I know all that is right here. What I don't know is how he's out of OR in less than an hour, and his surgeon is not here. Well, Dr. Drake went to the Metro Court. The woman he loves is one of the hostages, and he's afraid and that she might be... And this is outrageous. His first obligation is with his patient. He said if anybody comes close to the lobby doors, he's going to kill a hostage. Okay, he could be bluffing. Well, he's not bluffing. Look, he's very calm, almost amused. He said he'd give me a chance to talk someone through a procedure because it would be interesting. Do you have any idea as to why he's doing this? I don't know. He didn't say anything like that. Look, in a minute the phone's gonna ring, and I'm gonna have a chance to talk someone through a surgery that could save Robin. Okay, okay, while you're trying to help Robin, try to find out if there's much information about the situation in there. All right, Daddy, you're gonna take your pills, and you're gonna avoid stress, just like the doctor said. Don't be absurd. My son and my granddaughter are being held hostage. What could be more stressful than that? Where's that reprobate husband of yours, anyway? Poor little Lulu must be scared to death. He's in jail. I thought of bailing him out, but then I thought better of it. I figured he and everybody else in Port Charles was safer with him there. What was Luke arrested for? For stealing a flak jacket and a helmet because he wanted to save the day. Damn fool could have had everyone killed. You going to go home with us? No, I'm going to stay here in case the crisis breaks. I will be in touch with you. All right. Jason, your father and Emily are being held hostage. I know, I, know, I saw them. You saw them? Yeah, there's security footage of the lobby just before the, the, the men trashed the cameras. Everyone looked okay. Do, do you have some kind of a plan? I, I have to Jason, go. I, no, I, I know you were worried about Sam, but I'm, I'm begging you. I'm truly begging you. If there's anything you can do, please, please help Emily and Alan. Oh, my father shouldn't be left alone! Shut up! No problem. You, Lulu, you get to stay with Alan while Emily stays with Robin. No, no, I, I, I think you want somebody else to go. Now what's the matter? You have something against Emily's daddy? You want to share it with us? If he is sick, I can't help him. I can't do anything. Well, Alan's a doctor. No doubt he can advise you. Two, take her. Go, go, no. go. Oh. She, she's losing a lot of blood. Let me talk to the surgeon. This is Dr. Drake. Well, aren't you the speedy one? Look, I, I did what you asked, Mr. I don't know what to call it. Don't worry about me. The only people in your world right now are Mrs. Corinthos. Emily and poor pale Robin. 
He may coach them through the surgery, but you can only use whatever supplies we have left in the hotel. Oh, we, we, we need a sterile environment. We... Ah, the art of improvisation. Are you doing this? Because I can, Paddy. And you having a meltdown won't help your girlfriend. Let me talk to Emily. Emily? Don't do anything stupid. I'm here. Okay, Emily. Just, just describe me the wound. Uh, the uh, the bullet entered Robin, uh, Robin's abdomen from the left side. I'm unable to determine the trajectory, but she's losing one blood. Okay, is, is, is the wound, is, is, is her abdomen distended or is it soft? It's a little distended. Okay, she's bleeding internally. She could, she could exsanguinate if we don't, if we don't open her up. No. No, 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 I know, I know what that means, okay? I just I have to figure out a way to fix it using what we have here. Emily, listen to me. Emily, take a deep breath. Okay, I'm going to give you a list of supplies. Okay. Um, and I need a paper and a pen. Go over there. You got to keep your hands. Yep, yeah, I know. I got it. Can I go to the desk and get a paper and pen? Hmm. I'm feeling indulgent. Sponges that are still in the wrapper if you can. We need a um, paring knife, we need a needle and thread, 